Good. Let us get started with uh, the recapture of what we have seen yesterday. Yesterday we talked about uh, we recaptured record and playback. Also we talked about uh, the frame dot inc. This is basically window declarations. This has the content of every screen in our application. Then we talked about four test language. Okay. The syntax part of four test like comments, then variables, assignments, for loop, if condition and uh, we talked about print then there is a special thing called a list functions this is what we have seen yesterday okay so also we talked about where you can download this from Borland site and then uh, you can download any version which is available I think usually they will provide only one version for to download so you can download whatever is available in the site this is what we have seen yesterday. Today we are going to have uh, some more stuff. Okay. Now let me have uh, let me have open let me open the script. Today we are going to continue on the scripting exercise. Yesterday we talked about many script functions. We ended at uh, if conditions. Now. Let me go and then uh, delete these lines. I want to have uh, some more functions in the list. Good. Yesterday we talked about the for loop. Now I am going to have one more looping structure today. That is a while loop. Say while i less than or equal to 5. I want to do some activity. I want to say print i sleep for uh, two seconds and then uh, i equal to i plus one so as he said in silk test the functions okay the functions that we are using are the blocks i would say the block of code is taken care by indentation okay the moment you have a block like while or if it automatically opens up this plus minus symbol pretty much like what you see on the left hand side so I can expand or collapse that this makes it easy to understand whether the while ends here or where right otherwise I have to search for the ending bracket or vend which may be a problem so this is one advantage of silk test now having got this while loop now if I want to run the test case okay suppose I, I rename this it says test case this is a keyword test one I want to see rename it as my test I'm just renaming it as my test and then you can have this as a simple name now if I run it okay I have to give that open bracket and close brackets it will have that syntax removed now I click on this run test case it shows my test over here previously it used to show test 1 you can rename the way that you want and now I run now it is running okay. okay now the problem here right it finished the reason why it took time is because I have given two seconds delay and I am now moving on to the results file in the results file you could see this thing okay you could see a clear indication of one two three four five because I have given print i it took uh, two seconds delay before printing that's why it took uh, it started at uh, 42042 then it took 13 seconds and then printed one two three four five 
this is a simple uh, execution of the test this is a result now this is a simple while loop you can have a for loop or a while loop it's up to you to choose whichever loop that you want to use in this system but the point is repeat if I want to do something repeatedly done then you can use this for loop or while loop now I am deleting this yesterday we saw about uh, if conditions okay, for example I want to pass you can pass parameter also to the function how I say I am passing a parameter p1 I can say if p1 equal to 1 right then I am saying print uh, January okay now this is another issue in silk you have to make sure the indentation is correct so if simply putting uh, an enter key may not come out very well so you may have to do the indentation now I am copying the same thing now I am printing if p1 equal to 2 if p1 equal to 3 you can have multiple conditions if p1 equal to 3 I can say March right so there are three different if conditions that we are using here three different ifs that means multiple ifs so if this fails it comes if this fails it comes I can use else if else if also here now let me run here the moment you have given an argument over here at the top you may have to supply an argument at the time of execution now I am giving value 2 so it should print February okay it comes out in the result file I am opening the result file in the result file it says uh, it says February because I have passed value 2 this is fine absolutely fine so if you want to write multiple if conditions it's okay but I don't want to write multiple if conditions I want to write a single block then you can remove this you can use this thing switch I think uh, the value right this is same like a switch case of C now I say case 1 what should I do uh, print January right now I want to move the intent I say case 2 print it should be February now again indent case 3 print March okay now if none of this suit there is another class called default or say Hold on a second. In this, you can use suppose I type else, it gives a syntax error. You can say default, this is equal to case default, print uh, give some other value. Okay. This is a single switch case statement. This is exactly the same as what you see in uh, C language or Java language. This is equal to if p1 equal to 1, print this. If p1 equal to 2, do this. Else if p1 equal to 3, do this. Else, do this. So one switch case statement is equal to multiple if then else if statements. So if I execute it here, suppose I give the value as 3 it will print it, it runs I'm opening the result file it prints March because I have given the value 3 now if I execute it once more I'm executing it I am giving a value of 6 that means p1 becomes 6 p2 
P1 is not equal to 1, it's not equal to 2, it's not equal to 3, it executes the default class. Now when I run, it opens up the result file. I am moving to the result file. It shows this is the result because the value that we passed is not in any of the case statements so it takes to the last default value. So you are having if conditions and switch case. These are called control structures. Okay. You have got for and while loops. This is for repetitions. So any language you take, whether it is COBOL, Fortran or C or Java, .NET, variables, arithmetic functions, if then else switch case loops. You could see almost similar except a few small changes here and there in the syntax. Apart from that, they are all ditto. Is this clear? If then else switch case while loop. Can you please raise the hands?